I'm so excited to share with you all the new products I've been getting recently. Um, I've just been makeup crazy the last few weeks. Anytime I see a sale or walk into Target or anything, I'm just automatically over to the beauty department. Um, I have to check everything okay. out. So today I ran into Ulta because I needed an extra um, brow pencil. So I went in and I got the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil in Ash Blonde, which they've actually renamed as Taupe, but it is the same color. So I got a backup of that because I'm about to run out of that. Um, so that's not really exciting. Um, while I was there, I walked over to the NYX section because um, my local Target just picked up NYX, but they don't have the full line. So I went over there to see if they had any good deals because it's usually like buy one, get one 50% off. And I found um, the Jumbo Eye pencils. I have a couple of them already, but I picked up one in green, which is called Rocky Mountain Green. And it looks like this. I'm actually going to do a swatch for you. So you can see it better. Right there. It's a really pretty, like, kind of light emerald, just shimmery green and I think it's going to be beautiful under green shadows as a um, cream base so I'm really excited to use that and then the other one I got is Rust which is this really oh I dropped it it is this really pretty purpley cranberry color it's right there I absolutely love it. I've been really getting into cranberries and kind of rusty, like, copper colors for the fall. And so I'm really excited to use this as a base. I think it's going to make those colors just pop and look absolutely gorgeous. So those are the two NYX products I got. And then while I was there, I also was looking at the Rimmel line because I was... Um, actually just in Target a couple days ago and I was checking out the Rimmel um, lip products I decided to pick up okay well while at Target I got two Rimmel liners I got the color East and Snob which comes in this little tube like this um, it's like the perfect everyday Pinky Nude Liner is actually what the liner I have on today. I don't know if you can see it. It's right up top there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I got this one from Target, but when I was in Ulta today, I ended up picking up an extra just because I have a feeling I'm going to run through this first one really, really quickly um, because I love it and I have used it every day since I bought it. So I bought it. That picked up an extra. And then um, the other liner that I got from Ulta today from the same line in Rimmel is the Pure Color, which is a really pretty, I guess you would say like a, a pink color, but I almost feel like it's got like a red undertone. I don't know. Let me swatch it for you. This is the first time I've swatched it, actually. Right there. Um, the other Rimmel liner that I got, and this one was from Target, is the Addiction color. And it's just a really nude, kind of brownish, mauve -y color. It's more brown. It's got like a hint of purple, I think, in it. Let me swatch it for you. Yeah, it's when, it, when you swatch it, it comes off as like a really pretty mauve. So those are the three lip liners that I picked up. Um, also from Ulta... I decided to grab the Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge, like this. Um, I've heard nothing but amazing things about this sponge. Let me, I heard it is a great cheaper alternative um, to the Beauty Blender. I think the Beauty Blenders are at like around 21 to 22 bucks or something like that for just one. And this one, I don't know, this one had to be under 10. I'm feeling it in my hand right now. It's very dense. On the back it says it's 3-in-1. It has a flat edge which contours around the eyes and nose. It's got this flat edge right there. Which I thought was really unique um, for a beauty sponge. And then it has the sides where you can blend 
large areas around the face, so you know it has the sides, and then it has a tip right here which covers imperfections. So if you ever have like a spot you want to cover up, you just, you know, you can dot it on. I even think this would be great for like in the inner corner if you want to like blend out concealer. I'm super excited to use that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, rewind a few days when I was at Target. Let's go through all of that stuff. When I was at Target, I mainly got all lip products, I believe, um, except for one thing. I picked up a pack of simple cleansing wipes. This was for sensitive skin. I don't actually have sensitive skin, but I saw the pack and anytime I've ever used um, wipes for sensitive skin, it obviously doesn't harm my face, so I didn't have a problem using it. Um, so I got the duo pack. I go through my makeup wipes extremely quickly. That's why I decided to get the two pack instead of just getting one because it was a better deal. Um, I'm about to finish up. I have the Clean and Clear White Pack Facial uh, Wipes, which I like, except I've noticed that it makes my eyes water when I take off my mascara and eye makeup. And it's not like water and like, a, like my eyes are irritated. They're just watery as if like you sneeze or you stared at the sun or something. It's like, it's a weird water. It's not like an irritated water. So... I decided to try out those. I've never really heard um, much about the simple cleansing wipes, so I'm excited to use them. I'm about to finish up my other pack, so then I'll break into these babies, and hopefully it'll be great. The last few things that I got from Target are three lip products, and the first one is from the new um, Maybelline Matte line, and so I got the, num uh, the color 670 in Ravishing Rose. And let's just look at the packaging real fast. I absolutely love this packaging. It's like a like a steel colored purple. It's like really cool, and I love that it's matte. It's a lot different from their other uh, lines, like the Vivid line and the um, the Buffs line and everything. I really like this. But the color looks like this. I love this color. I love the finish it gives. I think it's gorgeous. It's right there. It's a matte. I don't think it's a true matte personally. It's, it's like a soft matte, which I think is even better than an actual true matte um, because mattes, you know, some matte lipsticks, they'll, they tend to dry you out. So um, I really like this. I can't wait to wear it. I have like an eye look in mind to wear this with. So I'm super excited about that. The next lipstick I got was from the Rimmel line. I was on like a Rimmel kit when I was there because um, I don't have a lot of Rimmel so I wanted to kind of like explore a new line. So I got a lipsticks from the Kate Moss line that comes in the black tube. I have one of the ones that comes in the red tube so I got a black one. This is the number 8. It's one of those Kylie Jenner lips, 90 throwback lips colors I really really like. I think this gives you the best of both worlds. It's that color but it's not a matte color. It's got it's like a sheen which I think is great. I absolutely love this on the lip and I think it's going to be really pretty paired up with um, this lip liner. The last thing I got from Target um, was actually from the NYX line because I noticed that my local Target just finally picked up the line. So I was looking at what limited products that they had and I really like the soft matte lip creams. I think they're beautiful. So I just picked up one of the pink nudes. It's just a really pretty easy daytime wear lip color. Just throw on and go. You can see it on the side there. It's super pretty. Pretty on the lip. Very natural. It's like your lip color just see bit better. Okay, so let's just finish up with the lip products because I have two more lip products and they are both, actually I have three more lip products. I lied. The first two are from Gerard Cosmetics and they came in their new packaging which is gold. It's beautiful. The only problem I have with it is it feels a little cheap I think. Like, it's easily breakable, and I don't like that feeling. I love the color, 
and the shape and everything. I'm just not crazy about, um, I'm just not crazy about the feeling of it, if that makes sense. The Drawers Cosmetics just launched a line of lipsticks. Um, they're very well known, obviously, for their lip glosses. And Jaclyn Hill teamed up with them to do a lipstick. She had already come out with a few lip glosses. So she decided to come out with the very trendy 90s, um, kind of brownie nude color and she named it 1995 which I love the name I think the name is great let me just swatch this bad boy for you and that's it on the back of the hand I think this color is beautiful I love it swatched on the back of my hand I just am not the biggest fan of it actually on my lips I feel like I'm just a tad too fair and I think this is a tad too brown for me. I do know that you can pair this up with different liners like you could pair it up with a brown nude and it will be more brown. You can pair it up with a mauve nude it will be a little more purple. You could pair it up with like a, a, like one with a reddish tint and it will be a little more red for you. I know there are different shades in this that you can pair up with different liners. I think that maybe the problem is is that I don't have the correct liner that I like on me, like the combo. So I gotta keep just trying. Um, I'm not giving up on this though, because I love Jaclyn Hill and I love the lip glosses that she's come out with. So I'm still fingers crossed that I can make this lipstick work. And the last thing from Jars Cosmetics that I got, I picked up, well, I ordered, I guess you could say, their new nude lip gloss, which is Shimmer of Hope, which. I'm in love with. I've been wearing almost every day over my lips. Gorgeous, gorgeous pinky nude. Um, I love their original nude. I actually have it on my lips right now. I have on that East End snob with their original nude. That's my lips. And um, I've actually been wearing my Shimmer of Hope with Max please me with the East End snob lip liner and that trio is like my obsession holy grail nude pink lip every day all day I rock that thing I'm at school and I got the full lips on and I get funny looks but I don't care because I just love that combo so Jacqueline Hill just did a like a mini review um tutorial with the Morphe shadows and I had, I've had my eye on Morphe for a while now um probably a good year I would say I've kind of been like looking at them looking at their brushes wasn't really sure didn't know if I wanted to invest so I decided to go over there and I ended up purchasing four different shadows and I haven't swatched them yet they actually came in the mail today so I'm gonna swatch them for the first time this is number 76 these don't have names, they're just numbers. And this is like a nude champagne color. The next one we have is number 75. I'll let you see right there. The next color is number 67. It's pink in some light and then it you turn it and it hits a light and then it's purple. I don't know if you can see it. It's on the bottom here. I don't know if it's changing at all. It's really pretty though. It's an interesting color. I don't have any other shade like this. I am very interested in creating an eye look around that. I think I might maybe do like a neutral look with this, like a pop in the middle or something for color. And the last color I got is definitely a yellowy gold in the number seven that's a cool color the last thing is i placed an order on sephora.com the other day because i'm about to run out of my professional primer and i needed a new one so i came across the smashbox photo finish foundation primer which is oil free and pore minimizing this is the box if anyone knows what the professional is like, this is its thicker cousin, basically. And it's very soft and like almost velvety. It's really nice 
on the skin. I really enjoy it. Uh, the other thing that I got, which I've never tried before, is the Josie Maron Argan Cleansing Oil. I have extremely oily skin. And I was browsing their face oils for oily skin. And I came across this. And I think on the website it said it was supposed to, like, balance like the hormones or whatever in your face and so I was like oh maybe my whatever my face is unbalanced and that's why I'm so oily so I decided to get this and you're supposed to pump it into your hand rub it on your face dry and then take water and rub it into your face until it's milky and then rinse it off and last but not least <laughs> the last product I got after this long haul is the creme de rose, creme de rose, the creme de rose Dior lip balm. It's, I bought this for a few reasons. One, Nicole Guerrero raves about it and then I heard that they're discontinuing it and I've been wanting to try it for a long time. I, let me show you the packaging. Is simple, chic. I think it's gorgeous. It's just, it's white. It's got the CD on top. I love it. Um, it's heavy too. Like, I don't know if it's heavy because there's a lot of product in it or if it's heavy just because the packaging is heavy. I don't know. So this is it. It's just pink. It's beautiful. Interesting smell. So that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, my camera's about to die, so I need to wrap this up really quickly. I hope to roll out a few more videos pretty soon. I want to do a tutorial, and I would love to do a tag. So leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of tag you'd like me to do. So until next time, bye!